Hello, I am Yuri Flair, better known as Luos, and in this quick tricks video I'm going to show you a few additional content browser tips. Well, let's just start with something simple. You don't generally need real-time thumbnails, and that will basically not make anything automatically move, and that saves a little bit of performance, just a little bit. So, sometimes you have a few specific folders that you are editing, and it would be nice if you can quickly find them. In the previous video I already showed you the folder colors, but there are some other things you can do. For instance, you can actually enable favorites, show favorites. Now let's say that I always use this particle system folder, I can just right click on it and add to favorites. That way it will be available in the favorites folder that appeared over here. I could do the same for the materials folder and now I can easily pick them. And that's quite handy. Um, you can also remove them again, of course. But sometimes there's also that you want a specific material or an effect that you want to save somewhere. You can obviously try and find it here, but there's no, hmm, no favorites. There's something else for that, and that's collections. You can just drag and drop different collections in here. First you need to press the plus button to make a new co local collection. And in this case I'm just going to call it a current. Things that I'm currently working on. And they can be a mess like any folder that you make, but you should try and keep it clean. Let's say I have this sparkle system that I currently want to edit quite a few times and it has some material that I need to tweak a bit. And I can just add them to there and now if I press on this collection, I can easily find them and edit them. Which can save you some time searching for specific things. Combine that with the favorites folder and the content browser folder and you can, can do quite a lot. But sometimes you want to edit like the mesh, you double, want to double click on the mesh, and there's actually a short key for that. If you press Ctrl and E, it will instantly open the selected object. So if I select something else, I wonder if there's actually an option for that. And not really, I think it's generally for meshes and particle systems and that kind of thing. So if I have a particle system here, I press Ctrl E, and it will open that thing instantly. And that can save you some time going through all the things. Normally people click on here then either double click on that or try to find it in the content browser. Speaking of trying to find uh, something in the content browser, there's also Ctrl and P. Ctrl P. And now you can search for an asset. So if you know the name, and if you use proper names, you should be able to find it. I can try and write Impact, uh, Spark, and I found it, and I can just double click on it and I open it. And that's quite handy. Um, what else is there? Well, okay, one last thing that uh, I tend to forget to mention, but which is actually quite handy. Let's say you have a new material, there you go, and you have a texture here, and you need to make it a texture object. Normally people right click on it and then convert to texture object, but there's like, actually it says on the right mouse click, it says that there's an option for T. Convert to texture object, and if you press the T key and when you select it, it convert it to an object, and if you press T again, it changes it back to a texture sample, which is quite nice. Okay, I think that's it for this video. It's quick, short, and gives you quite some nice information. Alright, Lewis out. Take care.